I spent the last week testing UltraCode, an AI coding assistant built specifically for passing technical interviews. Unlike general coding tools, this one claims to handle the unique pressures of live interview scenarios. As someone who cleared the hiring process at Amazon, I was curious to see if a tool like this could actually pass a FANG interview. I put UltraCode through brutal leak code hard problems, ran a full system design simulation, and tested some of their features that no other tool currently has. The question is, do these features actually matter or are they just clever marketing? I'll show you exactly how UltraCode performs under pressure, where it excels, and because I'm giving you the real story, where it completely falls apart. By the end, you'll know if it's worth your time and money. Let's dive in. So UltraCode gives you two modes, quick for fast code generation and reasoning for deeper step-by-step -step problem solving. The reasoning model is obviously more powerful but comes at the cost of speed. Let's see how both models perform on some popular leak code problems. Let's start with a leak code medium container with most water. This is one of the harder leak code mediums in my opinion. Even though this one trips up a lot of humans, the quick model breezes through it. You can see UltraCode will start with the naive solution and then work up to the optimal solution so you aren't just suspiciously blurting out the final solution like you've seen the problem before. Speed-wise, it was about four seconds to generate and verify. Pretty solid. Now let's try UltraCode on Elite Code Hard. Wildcard matching. This is one of the harder problems on Leak Code. I purposely chose it because Interview Coder, Cluely, and Leak Code Wizard all returned wrong answers for it. UltraCode's quick model looks like it gets it right on first glance since the basic test cases pass. This is already better than the solutions I got back from Interview Coder and Cluely. But on submission, UltraCode's quick model solution doesn't pass 100% of the submission tests. Let's try UltraCode on this problem again using their reasoning model. The reasoning model's solution does indeed pass 100% of submission tests. So now let's talk about speed. And this is a funny one because when I first started testing UltraCode, the reasoning model would easily take 30 seconds and would wait until the full solution was ready before returning anything. That was a really shitty experience because it would be super awkward to stall for 30 seconds during a live interview. But recently they shipped an update that streams the solution as it generates. You start seeing the solution within six to eight seconds, which is really fast for a reasoning model of this caliber. While the full answer will still take about 30 seconds or so to generate with the reasoning model getting the first part of the solution, within seven seconds will buy you more than enough time for the full solution to be generated. I recommend using the reasoning model when you're handling leak code hards. For leak code easy and leak code mediums or trivia questions, the quick model will get the job done in much less time. Now let's switch gears and talk about a few features I believe only UltraCode has. These features include system design support and audio recognition. These go hand in hand because system design questions are usually asked verbally. Unlike the normal AI leak code solvers, UltraCode is fine-tuned for system design questions and will actually give you a list of clarifying questions to ask the interviewer. And then we'll use the responses from those questions to customize the final solution presented. Something cool about UltraCode is that it gets audio at the system level, so you answer verbal questions even if you're wearing headphones, and it can answer questions asked by you or by your interviewer. So let's test out UltraCode's verbal and system design chops in real time. I'm going to try UltraCode on a question a buddy of mine just got asked in an interview with Meta. Design a URL shortener like Bitly. As you can see, as soon as I press solve, UltraCode immediately starts generating first impressions, which is great because it helps you to show the interviewer quickly how your brain works. That covers the edge cases and major design requirements you'll need to think about. Then it generates smart clarifying questions you should ask your interviewer. So after the clarifying questions are answered, the solve button turns into a design button. Pressing design generates a final solution that incorporates all the product's details and specifications that the interviewer shared verbally when answering the clarifying questions. The final solution includes everything we need, APIs, databases, trade-offs, and even a system design diagram. So the way it starts is by offering the API design, or basically which endpoints we're going to need to create. This helps the interviewer understand that you know how to think about CRUD designs and apps. The next piece is the Calculations tab, which is pretty cool. 
It uses the responses from the questions to actually generate realistic traffic on the system. Basically, this determines how the rest of the design is going to be laid out. The database and components are pretty standard, but I thought this details section was a nice touch. This section has the trade-offs and the details that make this question unique. Usually, interviewers are trying to get you to think about one major component with each design question, and the details section is where it addresses that directly and gives you talking points. Like when I tried it on Design Twitter, this section was all about how to optimise reads versus writes and caching. Last but not least, we get an actual diagram that shows the entire system design. This piece is honestly one of the most helpful since I can quickly reference exactly what the system should look like and draw it out for my interviewer before speaking about each section in detail. Now let's talk about the most important consideration when it comes to using a tool like this. Not getting caught. The thing that sold me on purchasing UltraCode was that one of their marketing emails mentioned they spend nearly $10,000 per month to maintain enterprise-grade Proctor accounts with the six top coding interview platforms, including CodePad, HackerRank, and CodeSignal. These platforms have advanced cheating detection features that are only available to large companies on their most expensive payment tiers. By actually having Proctor accounts with the leading platforms, UltraCode is the only platform that can actually guarantee they are still undetectable, and they verify that is still the case daily on each platform. There have been tons of reports of popular tools like Interview Coder and Cluely being detectable, and most cheap alternatives on the market just forked Interview Coder's open source repo, slapped on a cheaper UI and called it a day. But all those forks carry the same detection vulnerabilities as the original Interview Coder. UltraCode has Proctor accounts on all major platforms, and they use them continuously to ensure they are still undetectable. This is probably the number one reason they can get away with charging so much more than their competitors. I think eventually cheaper competitors might start offering verbal support, system design support, etc. But I genuinely don't think any of these new AI cheating tools popping up daily can afford to drop $10,000 a month to get enterprise-grade Proctor accounts to actually guarantee undetectability on all the major platforms. Now let's switch gears a bit and talk about the things I don't like about UltraCode. My least favourite thing is that they will run a promo for like one week every month or two where you get lifetime access for $899 and for the other 75% of the time they will charge you $899 for just a one year subscription. I get it's their right to be able to offer whatever limited time promos they want but I just feel bad for people who buy one day early or one day late and get screwed out of lifetime access. If you are thinking of buying UltraCode, my advice is to definitely wait for them to run the $899 lifetime promo and avoid paying the same amount for a one-year subscription. The other thing which isn't great about UltraCode is their behavioural question support. I tried using it to answer, tell me about yourself, and the answer was extremely generic and there is no way to import your resume or anything like that to personalise it. Now, I know most of you aren't buying this product to help with behavioural questions, but on the off chance that you are, then don't. And finally, one last thing I wish UltraCode allowed is the ability to customise the hotkeys. Don't get me wrong, they do already have hotkeys for everything, but I wish I could choose which keys did what, so it would be more intuitive for me. Aside from that though, I think UltraCode is an excellent product. I've tested Interview Coder, Cluely, Leet Code Wizard and more, and it's not even close. The other tools get almost all leak code hards wrong and don't even support system design or questions asked verbally. UltraCode has the best responses, the most features and by far the best anti-detection measures. Granted these features come at a premium price tag, but assuming you are able to catch the lifetime access promo, I think it's worth the money. There you have it, a full breakdown of the pros and cons of UltraCode and when it's worth buying. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions I didn't cover feel free to drop them in the comments. See you guys next time.